All right, so I'm going to try the same thing that I did uh, recently on that sample test, but I'm going to use an actual sample test uh, from the Department of Education. Now, I've done all of these tests a long time ago. You know, they haven't updated these tests uh, for a long time, but I thought it would be interesting to see how many questions are centered on vocabulary and, uh, you know, how quickly I can do those ones. So I'll use the timer on the video to sort of give me a guide as to how long it'll take me to do just the ones that are focused on vocabulary that I'll be able to do very quickly, I think. All right, so I'll get started here. All right, uh, and I'll just get better highlight the pencil. All right, question one. Uh, cactus is to desert. Well, a cactus grows in the desert, so a fish is to uh, water. I'll just answer these so I can remember which ones. Uh, rearrange the words below to make the best sentence. Uh, telephones make, mobile telephones make communication very easy, so it should be easy. Uh, three of the following words have similar meanings. All right, those three words all mean stupid, so it's sage, which means wise. All right, I might skip this code one because that might take me a bit of time. Envy is to jealousy as regret, so envy and jealousy are the same, so regret is to uh, remorse. So I've done four out of the five in around a minute. Uh, I'll skip the pattern one for now. Grievous means uh, serious or severe. So is nearest grievous bodily harm, severe body, bodily harm. Uh, which word has a different meaning? Uh, certain. All right, the other three mean not certain. Book is the paper. So uh, a book has paper in it. Uh, a wall. Well, a book is made of paper, I guess you would say. A wall would be made of brick. That's the only one that would apply there because the others are, you know, other structures. Uh, okay, I'll skip the logic one. The word diagnosis is nearest in meaning to analysis. All right, I'm gonna skip this pattern one. Three of the following words have similar meanings. All right, it's pacify, tranquilize, and placate. So the one that stands out is excite. Uh, 14, I'll skip that. 15, skip. 16, abundant is most nearly the opposite to scarce. Abundant means you have too much. All right, cover. A cover is on the outside of a book. A sheath would be the outside of a knife. I'll skip this pattern. Skip the math, skip pattern. Dubious is the opposite. Dubious means doubtful, it's the opposite of reliable. All right, three of the following have similar. Affirm, declare, assert, so it's deny. All right, skip that one, skip the code, skip the logic, skip the pattern. Congeal is nearest in meaning to coagulate. All right, skip the code, skip the pattern. Three of them have similar meanings. Uniform, homogeneous, consistent, all mean the same, so it's variable. Word obsolete is the means outmoded. Innovative would have been the antonym. Uh, code, skip that, skip that. Hypocrisy is opposite to sincerity. All right, the other three well, that don't have anything to do with it, really. So, all right, skip that one, skip the maths one, skip the code. Three of the following words have, all right, it'd be scorn, ridicule, contempt, recognition is the only one that doesn't have anything to do with it. Subtle is the opposite of crude, because subtle means gently. All right, skip that. Three of the following words have similar meanings. Which word has a different uh, meaning? Obstinate and stubborn uh, and willful. Yeah, deliberately willful, so cooperative is the one. Flippant is most nearly the opposite of serious. All right, skip that, skip that. Skip the logic, skip the maths, skip that. So we're still skip, I'm hoping I can get about half of it done. The word frail is most nearly the opposite to robust. Robust means strong and healthy. All right, skip that. Benevolent means kind, so it's compassionate. Then words are always good words. Skip that. Sporadic is the opposite of continuous. All right, sporadic means intermittent. All right, skip that. Three of the following words have similar meanings. Rash, impetuous, heedless, so it's cautious. All right, skip that, skip that. Dissent is nearest in meaning to protest. All right, skip the letter. Latent is the opposite to evident. All right, latent means hidden, it means potential. 
All right, and the last question. All right, so we stop there. I've spent about four minutes on that, I think, so far. All right, and uh, I, I won't tally it up now. I'll, I'll put that in the comments to this video, but you can see I got a fair chunk of the test done in four minutes. So I'll put that in the results and see, and I'm pretty sure I got all of those questions right. So I'll also check that as I go through it.